Welcome to Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. I'm Ranger Amanda. We know a lot of you can't visit us this year, so we're bringing the park to you. Today we're at Navajo Bridge, overlooking the Colorado River, surrounded by the Vermilion Cliffs. A lot of people come from all over to view this area, but if you're lucky, you might be able to see America's largest bird. With a wingspan of nearly nine and a half feet and weighing almost 25 pounds, the California condor soars high above or hides out in the shade below the bridge. California condors eat carrion, or animals that are already dead. Anything from cattle to deer, pigs, rabbits, and for our condors that find themselves along the shore, this could include marine life, like sea lions and whales. Condors nest along the cliff line, and they don't build nests like you might think with twigs and sticks and things that they find around. They'll fly into the cliff and they'll lay their egg right there on the rock. Both parents will take their turns rotating the egg on the rock so it warms up in the sun and a new condor can hatch. A condor chick will live with its parents for up to 12 months, and when they're born, they don't look like their mom and dad. They usually have a black head and an all black body with very little white coloring. As they grow older, they'll grow into that more iconic look of a condor, and it usually takes about six or seven years. Historically, condors were found all over North America. Lewis and Clark wrote about them as they ventured into the Pacific Northwest mapping. They wrote that they were a beautiful bird, but at a distance. California condors were on the verge of extinction. Arizona itself hadn't seen a condor since 1920. And in 1980, there was only 22 condors left in the whole United States. So the U.S. Fish and Wildlife partnered up with some community partners and scooped up the remaining 22 birds and took them into captivity. They began an intense breeding program, and in 1992, they were able to release the first condors of that program around this area. Today, there are almost 230 condors in the wild. It's an uphill climb for condors with obstacles still in the way, but there is hope. Condors can be found here in Arizona, in southern parts of Utah, in California, and Mexico. Even with huge efforts in helping these condors build back up their population, they still face problems in the wild. Condors are very susceptible to lead poisoning. Some hunters leave discarded carcasses with bullet fragments in them. The condors ingest fragments and that leads to lead poisoning. Hunters can help the condor population by choosing not to buy lead bullets, or if they do buy lead bullets, making sure to carry out the whole animal after they're done hunting. It's a success story in the making, and now that you've learned so much about condors, could you imagine a world without them? If you want to learn more about condors or other majestic animals that we help protect here at Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, visit our website.